Thailand and Laos are trying to clean up their air. MSU researchers Dave Skoll and Jay Samick spend a lot of time working with in-country partners, helping promote the planting of trees and plants and developing carbon offsets. They're helping make a difference for these countries in Southeast Asia and the world. We have on one hand a, an important environmental global problem. On the other hand, we also want to look at um, alleviating poverty and improving welfare for farmers uh, through agroforestry and carbon markets and all that. So that twinning of climate mitigation and poverty alleviation is critical. And so you really do have to uh, walk on both sides of the road to, to, ha to make a difference. Otherwise, it's just a kind of an esoteric kind of question that you're trying to research and publish some papers. And I think at the end of the day, if we just publish some papers, it's not enough. We have to actually transform lives, you know, and things like that. The whole idea of carbon offsets can be complicated. Very basically, farmers are paid for planting trees and plants and managing the land to help make up for carbon that's been emitted and is being released. The idea of selling carbon in a tree that you can't see, that you don't harvest, it's not like a local market, is something that takes a, a kind of a steep learning curve for farmers. But once they grasp that idea, it's, I think it's exciting and their heart does get into it that they can be part of the solution. And becomes a commodity like anything else. Becomes a commodity like anything else. And that's where uh, I think that everybody's trying to come up to speed on that, from policymakers in developed countries, the United States, to developing country farmers. There's, everybody's still grappling with these ideas. There is a lot of uh, work that tends to look like we're kind of a development assistance group, helping people plant their trees. But we're not. We're, we're, they actually know how to plant trees better in this environment better than us. We, but what we want to do is say, now that you've planted them, here's how you can measure that carbon sequestration. And we don't actually know how to do that 100% yet. There's a research component in that. And so that's what we need to do. These are jatropha trees. Planting these trees means carbon offsets. There's also a revenue stream from the trees themselves. The nuts are harvested by hand and can be squeezed and turned into biofuel. This was a case where they uh, put in uh, uh, about a hectare and the community shares the, uh, the seeds that they get and they go out maybe once a week or every other week to harvest what's, what's been available. And I understand that we're going to see a uh, processing, a simple, very simple processing facility here where they can bring the seeds to get crushed into oil. This effort is a combination of talents, and it relies on the partnerships built between universities in Laos and Thailand, the governments in those countries, and MSU. This project was uh, initiated or stimulated by the MSU in the U.S. If that we don't have the MSU in the U.S., we did not think that, oh, when the people plant the trees, they can have a more benefit from that, like a carbon credit. We've changed focus from looking at how do we document the problem? How do we understand scientifically uh, the effects of deforestation on climate change to now how do we apply these kinds of technologies to, uh, 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 to change the pattern, to mitigate climate, to affect livelihoods, uh, and to bring local people into the solution set for climate mitigation. Yeah, I think climate change is uh the number one threat to peace and prosperity in the world. It has tremendous potential economic and social consequences. Yet at the same time, there's opportunities too. And I think we're, we're demonstrating that little by little. But I think the uh, moving to a green economy, moving to a renewable economy, uh, a bioeconomy, is, is the opportunity space for that, that problem.